Hello students. Today I am going to solve the some numericals on the free convection. One thing I will tell you here that one for the convection chapter either it may be free convection or a force convection better to use the Kozander-Rama data handbook for solving that numerical. Okay, for referring the properties of the fluid either water property or a air property you have to use the Kozander-Rama data handbook all or for referring the formulas for the force convection and the free convection for the different conditions. Okay, here the first numerical that I will take that is a thin 80 centimeter long and 8 centimeter wide horizontal plate is maintained at a temperature of 130 degree Celsius in a large tank full of water at 70 degree Celsius. Estimate the rate of heat input to the, into the plate necessary to maintain the temperature of 130 degree Celsius. Here, the whatever the plate is there, its temperature is 130 degree Celsius, water temperature is 80 degree Celsius. For that uh, plate, we have to transfer the heat to maintain the 130 degree Celsius temperature. Okay, uh, to uh, some part of the heat is transferring through this water as the water is a lower temperature. That much quantity of the water heat only we have to su supply to the plate that is the rate of heat transfer from the this plate to the water if you determine that much quantity of the heat uh, required to supply to the plate that we can obtain then here the horizontal plate of length 80 centimeter that is 0.8 meter and width is 8 centimeter 0.08 meter plate temperature is a T valve that is 130 fluid temperature T infinity 70 degree Celsius then rate of heat input to the plate Q can be given as by this that we have to find out. Then film temperature or the fluid temperature that is the average of the wall and the its fluid temperature that is a 130 plus 70 by 200 degree Celsius. Then properties of water from the data handbook of the Kodan Rama of page number 22 of the 6th edition we have to use and that density is given 961 kg per meter cube. Then kinematic viscosity nu is 0.293 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter square per second. Then Prandtl number 1.74, thermal conductivity K 0 0.6804 watt per meter Kelvin. Beta of water from the data in book only we can obtain. That is a, uh, from the data in book of page number 30 of 6th edition we can obtain beta. Or we can determine the beta that is 1 by T up in Kelvin. The T up value whatever 100 degree Celsius is there. 1 by uh, that T up in Kelvin that is a plus 273 that is 1 by 373 whatever is there that will be the beta of water or directly we can take from the data handbook. Then here we know that the gross up number G beta LC cube delta T by nu square. Okay G beta LC cube delta T by nu square that is a gross up number. Okay then this is for the plate it is L and for the tube it will be the D. Then for horizontal plate characteristic length width by 2 ok characteristic is width by 2 that can be 0 0.08 by 2.04 meter by substituting all the values in the gross up number that is g and beta 0.76 into 10 to minus 3 this is lc and delta t is the temperature between uh, plate and the fluid that is 130 minus of 70 by nu kinematic viscosity 0 0.293 into 10 to minus 6 square ok then gr is equal to 0 0.333 into 10 raised to 9 and this is gr pr uh, value the product of the cross up number and the prandtl number where 0 0.333 into 10 raised to 9 we are going to get 0 0.174 1.74 multiplication 0 0.58 into 10 raised to 9 we are going to get this is gr pr value in between the 8 into 10 raised to 6 and 10 raised to 11 and for that GR power value range the horizontal plate upper surface heated here the horizontal plate if you are considering the upper plate when it is heated then also we have to find out the Nusselt number and heat transfer value lower plate heated separately we have to find out for the plate upper surface and lower surface from both the surfaces the heat transfer is taking place for the upper surface separately we will take uh, that is a heat transfer coefficient then for the lower surface heated the heat transfer coefficient separately we will find out then from that the total heat transfer we will find and that is the heat input required then this is for this range the Nusselt number we are going to get 
नर्सरी नंबर इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन फाइव जे आर पी आर एस टू टेबल थ्री पेज नंबर वन थर्टी सिक्स ऑफ दट कोदन ड्रामा बुक पेज नंबर वन थर्टी सिक्स इयर अपर सर्फेस कूल्ड ओके दिस वन एंड हरिजेंटल सर्फेस हीटेड सर्फेस ऑफ एट कॉन्सेंट अपर सर्फेस कूल्ड एंड दिस इज अरिजेंटल प्लेट अपर सर्फेस हीटेड आर लोअर सर्फेस कूल्ड ओके दिस इज दिस वन वन थर्टी फाइव ओनली हियर फॉर दैट वन जे आर पी आर इज बिटवीन एट इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स एंड बिटवीन द टेन रेस टू लेवन एंड फॉर दैट पॉइंट वन फाइव जे आर पी आर रेस टू पॉइंट थ्री 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 वी गॉट टू हियर दैट इज पॉइंट वन फाइव जे आर पी आर रेस टू पॉइंट थ्री 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 दैट इज अपर सर्फेस हीटेड आर लोअर सर्फेस कोल्ड एंड एनी वन इज मेन्शन दैट इज वन एंड सेम दैन नसल्ट नंबर वी गॉट हियर वन ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव and from that nusselt number we know that n is equal to hu lc by k and hu we have to find this one by substituting lc n u and k hu we got to 113.49 watt per meter square kelvin then heat transfer coefficient for upper surface heated that we got here this one 2113.49 watt per meter square kelvin for horizontal plate lower surface heated lower surface heated or upper surface cooled and for that one from the data and book of page number 137 got here n is equal to 0.27 jr pi is to 0.2 pi okay here that is page number 136 actually it is upper surface cooled or a lower surface heated for that 10 raised to 5 to 10 raised to 11 between that range n is equal to 0.27 jr pi is to 0.2 pi that value we have used here okay then from that nusselt number 1 we are going to write because already one nusselt number already we have find out for the upper surface seated okay then from this one nusselt number 1 that is h1 lc by k that h1 we have to find for the lower surface seated 715.44 watt per meter square kelvin and heat transfer coefficient for lower surface seated will be h1 is equal to 715.44 watt per meter square kelvin then the total heat transfer or a total heat input required for the plate q is equal to both the heat transfer coefficient addition of the both the heat transfer coefficient h u plus h1 a delta t uh, delta t h u plus h1 w l this one area as a width into length temperature difference wall and the fluid temperature difference addition of this one the 2113.49 plus of 71.44 into width is 0.08 and length is 0.8 Temperature one thirty minus of seventy. That ten point eight six into ten raised to three watt the heat transfer, or a ten point eight six kilowatt of the heat input for the plate is required to maintain the one thirty degrees Celsius temperature. Then second one numerical line take here. That is a vertical pipe eighty mm diameter and two m height is maintained at a constant temperature of one twenty degrees Celsius. The pipe is surrounded by steel atmospheric air at 30 degrees Celsius. Find heat loss by natural convection. Okay, here by the natural convection it is mentioned. Otherwise, if the velocity is not given, we have to understand that one. Where this is the natural convection problem. And for that vertical pipe diameter is given 0.08, and its height is given length for the vertical plate. The length only we have to consider here. And for surface temperature is Ts 120. And air temperature is 30 degrees. Here. Heat loss we have to find out for that. For finding the properties, we need to find the film temperature or a fluid temperature. Uh, mean temperature we have to take that one. T W plus T infinity by 2, 120 plus 30 by 2 is 75 degrees Celsius. Properties of air. Okay, the properties of air here, not water. 75 degrees Celsius properties we have to from the data and book we have to find this properties of the air. 1.0145 kg per meter cube. Nu is 25.5 to 10 raised to minus 6 meter square per second. Frontal number 0.693 and K 30.06 into 10 raised to minus 3 watt per meter cube. Already I told you that one beta can be calculated as the 1 by film temperature in Kelvin. Okay, film temperature here 75 degrees Celsius and the film temperature in Kelvin. Okay, that is one by seventy-five plus two seventy-three. That we are going to get two point eight seven into ten raised to minus three Kelvin per Kelvin or Kelvin raised to minus one. 
Also, we know that cross up number can be given as g beta l cube delta t by nu square. Substituting all the values, g is 9.81 and beta is 2.87 to minus 3 and length is 0 0.08 cube. There is a vertical length we have to take here, that's 0 0.08 cube. And temperature difference is the surface temperature minus wall temperature 120 minus of the air temperature 30. And nu is 25.55 into 10 to minus 6 square. And from that, the gross up number we got 4.8 into 10 to 10. And JRPR product, if you take 4.8 into 10 to 10, 0.2.693, JRPR value is equal to 3.32 into 10 to 10 we got. Since GRPR is greater than 10 raised to 9, for the pre-convection, GRPR greater than 10 raised to 9, the turbulent flow we are going to get. From the turbulent flow or from the data handbook, this is the page number 135. Okay, for that we are going to get here, page number 135, page number 135 for the turbulent flow, greater than 10 raised to 9. It is point n is equal to point one zero gr pair raised to point three three three. Okay, the more popularly used this one. Okay, for the ten greater than ten raised to nine gr pair value. That equation from the page number one thirty five we used here. Then from that equation we are going to get the Nusselt number three eighteen point eight. Then we know that Nusselt number can be written as H L by K. Then H we have to determine from that one. Uh, Nusselt number into h into 2 by this k value then heat transfer coefficient h we can determine from that one after simplification 4.79 watt per meter square kelvin the heat loss q is given by h a delta t h into surface area of the vertical tube that is a pi dl pi dl t s minus 3 infinity okay h is 4.79 pi diameter is given okay pi d d is 2 L is 0 0.08 meter. Okay, then, oh, then that one we have taken. Then 120 minus of this temperature difference. Then Q heat transfer we are going to get 216.7 watt. And heat loss will be 216.7 watt. Okay, that we got from this one. That uh, heat loss we have determined. The some more numericals we will solve in the next.